Hey, I'm Bepper. That's a cat. That's a cat. That's a cat. That's a cat. That's a snake. That's a snake. That's a butterfly with a really cool jetpack. That's a frog. That's a frog. That's a duck. That's a duck. That's another duck. That's a butterfly. And that is also a butterfly. And that is Ultra Puppy. And you are watching one of my videos. Let's get into it. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention the eggs! There's some eggs over here, okay? They're valid too. So I was thinking, what should I do for my video today? I just don't know. I had like no ideas. I was blank, which usually doesn't happen. Usually I can come up with an idea like that. Like at the snap of a, you know? But I was drawing a blank until my dog walked in the room and he sat down on his dog bed and then he fell asleep and I was like, oh my god, he's so cute. I wish I had an Animal Jam version of him. But guess what? I can have an Animal Jam version of him because I can make him as a pet on Animal Jam so it's all okay. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing today. I am going to be creating my pets in Animal Jam. So I actually have made a video about this in the past where I was transforming my pets into Animal Jam, which I'll put a link to in the description down below. But since that video, I have recently gotten an entire new dog, and he's like my entire life. Like, yes, of course I love all of my other pets, but I have I have a dog now. I've had dogs all my life, but really I've never had the special connection with a dog that you get when you have, like, your own dog. Like, it's your dog that you take care of and you do everything for. So obviously, I want to make a pet of him. Then there is my kitten Caspian that I want to recreate as well. He is a ragdoll kitten that I got over the summer, and I have a really strong bond with him just because of the timing when I got him. My other dog, Murphy, who was 16 years old at the time, was really declining in his health and then he eventually passed away. So when I had Caspian there with me and I could just cuddle him and hold him and love on him when I was like really in a dark spot from that, it just made everything better. And so I really have a strong bond with him as well. Even though you can't really take your cat for walks and stuff like that, I feel a really strong connection with him. So definitely want to make him an animal jam. And I also want to make a pet in memoriam to my guinea pig Tango. So I'll give you a bit of backstory as to what happened with Tango and why I'm making a memoriam pet for him. So around this time last year, my brother got a guinea pig and named him JC. Short for Johnny Cash, aka Cash, aka just JC. We all call him JC. We call him nothing other than JC. So he had that guinea pig for a while, but obviously wanted a second one because guinea pigs are really supposed to have another guinea pig. Either that or a ton of human interaction because they're really social creatures. So on May 24th, 2017, which is about a month after he got his guinea pig, I got mine and named him Tango. Well, actually it didn't go that smoothly. We went to the pet store, got a guinea pig, brought him back, and then realized him was actually a her because JC was trying to make babies with her. And so we had to bring her back and then we're like, can we get a, a different guinea pig that's actually a male? So then we got an actual male guinea pig, which was Tango. So we introduced them and kept them separated for a while until they really seemed to be getting along super well. Like they were popcorning every single time with one another, which if you don't know about guinea pigs, popcorning is like a really happy thing they do. Like they jump up in the air and they're really happy. And they were doing that every single time they were around one another. So we're just like, okay, it seems like they're good to go now. So we put them in the same cage and they were fine for months. For about two months, they were perfectly fine until one day, this was the summertime. So I was sleeping in and my brother Tom comes up to my room and he woke me up, panicked, and he said, you have to come, like, we need to go to the vet, like, something happened with the guinea pigs. As it turned out, Tango had gotten attacked really badly. This is kind of graphic, so if you don't want to hear about it, I'll put a timestamp where you can just skip to to avoid all this, so you should probably go there now. But his entire scalp was just, like, gone. His ear was gone. Like, it was just horrible. It was horrifying. We took him to the vet and they said he was having, like, mini seizures every 30 seconds. And we could try to keep him alive, but he was really just suffering. So we ended up having to put him down because we didn't want to see him going through that pain anymore. Because even if we did try to keep him alive, it'd be, like, about 24 hours before we really knew if he was going to make it or not. And it was about a 99% chance that he wasn't going to make it. So I didn't want to prolong his suffering and make it worse for him just so I could feel a bit better. So he ended up passing away just a few months after I got him. But in that short amount of time, I really got super attached to him. He was just 
the most amazing little guinea pig. And I used to take him upstairs, you know, to my room because he lived with my brother's guinea pig. So even though he was my guinea pig, he didn't live in my room. So I'd always take him upstairs with me, hang out with him. And he would get so relaxed in my lap that he would pee on me. And that's one of my favorite memories of him. <laughs> he was a weird little guinea pig and he was great. He was so docile. He just kind of sat there and enjoyed life. So I want to make a pet in memoriam to him because he was just the greatest little guinea pig and it really is really just horrible that he was taken way too soon. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the actual creation of these pets. So obviously we have Ultra Puppy, which is my dog Bosco, and now we are going to be creating Charlie! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so first we have to start off with a puppy, obviously, because Charlie is a dog. So he is a mainly white dog with reddish, orange, brownish colored markings. And they don't really have a color for that other than orange, which isn't quite his color, but we're gonna go with it. All right, that looks nice, but I feel like that's more up to speed with Charlie. Charlie's a very psycho dog. So I think those eyes are appropriate for him. Just your average Sunday afternoon. As for the tail, hmm, I don't know. The tail really doesn't make a difference that much. It's just kind of like, I guess we'll go with that tail. I mean, that tail seems as good as any other. So he does have some markings, so I do want to put a pattern on him. Hmm, that kind of looks right, but I don't know. Ooh, that's cute, but that's not quite what he looks like. The point of this is to get it as close as possible to what he actually looks like. So I guess in that case, I will be going with that pattern. And finally, for his ears, he has nice, beautiful floppy little ears. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love it. Okay, and his name is Charlie, so let's see if we can find a C name for him. Crunchy? No. No, no, that's just weird. My dog is not crunchy, thank you very much. I think I'm gonna go with cold, seeing as he's obsessed with snow. Like, earlier today we were playing in the yard, and I was, you know, running around, and he was running and chasing after me, and then all of a sudden he'd just stop, and I'm like, I'd look- and all of a sudden he'd just stop, and I'd look back at him, and I'd be like, Charlie, what are you doing? And he'd be eating the snow. He literally had to like stop to eat the snow. He's just, he's a weird dude. He's a weird boy. There are so many bee names to get through. What the heck? This is so weird. Oh my God, how many bee names are there? Can I just get to the C's already, please? Oh, and there's more. There's more. Of course there's more. Why? Why are there so many bee names? Okay, finally, we're here. We're at the C's. Chaser. Ooh, that's a good one because that sounds like Charlie, first of all. And second of all, he chases everything. He chases the cats, he chases the other dogs, he chases me, he chases everyone. He chases things that don't even move. He's a weird boy. As I said, he's a weird little dude. So cold chaser, there we go. That's gonna be Charlie's name on Animal Jam. I don't think it looks exactly like him, but it's close enough, okay? So we're gonna go with that being Charlie. His personality is jumpy, which is very true. Favorite toy is a fence hurdle, and his favorite food is hamburgers. I mean, yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. He's not allowed to eat hamburgers, but Sounds pretty accurate. All right, instead of going through the pet menu this time, I'm just gonna go to Appendale and see if I can just adopt a pet through there because that just seems so much easier than trying to locate one through the pet finder. All right, so choose a kitty. Here we go. This is my kitty. Oh, there we go. That already looks like Caspian. Caspian's also pretty goofy, but I don't know. I feel like those eyes would look better for him. All right, so first of all, we have to change his pattern because he's not a sad little cat. I guess that works. And then his ears, he's a happy cat, so his ears will be up. And his whiskers and tail, um, he's very fluffy, so let's, I don't know, let's go with that one, I guess. I mean, that doesn't really look like Caspian either, but I guess we're gonna have to settle for it. I mean, he doesn't have eyebrows, though, so maybe that, I don't know, it's so difficult. Okay. Oh, wow, that was so much simpler than last time. We barely had to do any customization. Wait, hold on. I feel like it's, he's not like a black cat, but that's like the only dark color they have. So I guess we do have to go with black. Oh, well, okay. So let's go with another C name because his name is Caspian and his middle name is Moses, Caspian Moses. So let's see if we can find a C name and then an M name. Comfy. I mean, that kind of works because he's fluffy as heck. Comfy mouse. That kind of sounds like Moses. Mouse, Moses. His personality is loyal. His favorite toy is nesting mice dolls. His favorite food is baked carrots. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's a strange little certificate. I mean, his personality is right. He is a pretty loyal cat. All right, let's bring Caspian to Pet Stop. Um, he does have a lot of fluff, but I don't want that on his head. Ooh, that's cute. He has a little thing. 
a little blue hat. Yes, because he has blue eyes. It's adorable. We're doing it. Um, I don't really want to make him into a pirate or anything like that, so we're just going to keep that. None of my cats have collars because they're kind of just dangerous to put on cats in the first place. But you know what? For the sake of, you know, Animal Jam, I'm going to give him a nice blue collar because his color is blue, okay? He has the beautifulest blue eyes. Beautifulest is not a word. It's most beautiful. He has the most beautiful blue eyes. So you know what? We're going to go with that. And you know what? I feel like Charlie needs some pizzazz too. So let's, let's give him something. Okay, that's a bit weird. No. And oh, the same floofy hair. That's so weird. All right. No head items for him. Oh, that's just too cute. Oh my goodness. That's so adorable. And he does. He has the most adorable face sometimes when, I mean, he has the most adorable face all the time, but like sometimes he pulls this really cute face and it's like, oh my God, where did that come from? You're so cute. And, um, I don't think he would have any of these items on him. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Let's do, oh my, he looks so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never ever used these eyes on one of my pets before, like ever. Now let's go ahead and get ourselves a guinea pig. Now I know on Animal Jam these are pet hamsters, but for the longest time I just thought these were guinea pigs. They did not look like hamsters at all to me. So you know what? Too bad. This is a guinea pig and it will always be a guinea pig to me. So Tango was orange and brownish colored, kind of like that. Let's see um, what eyeballs they have. I mean, there's those eyes, but he wasn't really that hyper and stuff. He, he was very docile. He was just happy to be there. I'll do those eyes. That's really cute. Um, body. He was just kind of a normal, a normal little guinea pig. Oh, those are so cute. I think I'm going to go with that one. There we go. Look at that nose. It's just like up and down, up and down, up and down. So, oh, we're already in the S section. So we can just scroll down a bit further to T. So Tango. Um... None of these really look like Tango. I don't know what to call him then. Um, oh, we have Sir. We could just use Sir and then see if there's a T name here. Tango does not sound like any of these. It sounds like Turtle, kind of. Tango, Turtle? No. I don't want to make him into a turtle. Oh, wait. Do they have pet pigs? They do, so I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I'm right about this, but I'm pretty sure they would have the word pig in here. L-M-N-O-P piglet because he's a guinea pig wait let's see if there's a g word okay i'm sorry i'm spending way too much time on this name and probably nobody's going to care about what he's named but i care okay um so giant piglet no he's a tiny piglet anything that looks like guinea gummy no that that just doesn't sound right there we go micro piglet because he is a tiny micro piglet he's a guinea pig his personality is protective his favorite toy is a hamster habitat I think it's a guinea pig habitat because that's clearly a guinea pig, but oh well. And his favorite food is plain yogurt. That's just a bit weird, but okay. Look at him. I love him. Look how cute he is. Look how much he wants to eat that cheese. His favorite food ever was red bell pepper. He loved that. He would eat it right up. Anyway, let's go ahead and customize him a little bit. Um, I, I don't really want to put any of those on him, actually. Oh, wow. Stunning. Look at him. Oh, a little earring. That's kind of cute. Bat wings. I don't really like any of these options, actually, so I think I'm just going to keep him as is. And anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it because I got to kind of like relive my life with Tango and I got to create my best buddy, Charlie and Animal Jam and Caspian. So very happy with what I just did. But anyways, if you want more of these videos, please put it in the comment section down below because I love making these. I get to create my pets on Animal Jam and talk about them the entire video. Uh, yeah, count me in. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Good luck. Bye.